yes once again uh, uh, good morning everyone and uh, respected uh, um, uh, professor and head dr balakrishnan and my very good friend and uh, we are also colleagues in uh, aicrp on phet project and of course uh, your pg coordinator is there and all other you know maybe many of the people might have joined uh, online also i welcome all of them for my uh, presentation here and uh, this is regarding you know um, uh, a small work it is being carried out at us raichur uh, since you know um, lot of uh, talks are being taken place and taking place with respect to millets because you know 2023 is uh, already declared as uh, international year of millets and uh, under that lot of uh, things i think you might have also uh, come across with lot many presentations related to millets during this year you know what is millet you know what are importance of uh, millets health benefits all those things you now beyond uh, that you know uh, we did some work at us raichur then i would like to share some of the things if you have some doubts also i think we can discuss later and i moreover i am i am not new to tnao i am not new i am alumni of tnao alma mater my alma mater is also tnao i did my mtech from here and phd from here i think uh, mtech from uh, uh, 1992 with uh, dr balakrishnan dr rajkumar and all during 1992 to 95 93 to 95 uh that was a great uh, time and uh, i think you are also enjoying tna utna is a, a great uh, uh, university you know uh, we are all proud of uh, tna you being alumni of uh, tna uh, and whatever we have reached to this stage that is all because of uh, the the blessings of tna yes next please yes this is the topic you know the topic is on commercialization Uh, whatever processing and value addition, lot of uh, works have been done across the globe. You know, these millets you can you find. You know, almost what I have come across, not less than fifty thousand institutions are working on millets now across globe. More than fifty thousand. You just think of if everybody starts, you know, selecting one one research problem, and I think there will not be any problems at all. later after one or two years in that way yes this is this is uh, our university of agriculture sciences uh, administrative building next please this is the college of agriculture engineering uh, raichur and uh, this is the department of uh, processing and food engineering May, many of you might have no not uh, uh, visited uh, raichur then that's why i wanted to give coming to the straight away the topic as you know you all know millet millet the word has come from that milli french word milli milli means it's a thousand grains in one handful in that way yeah next please I think everybody knows about uh, millet and it is a small seeded grain yes uh, i think uh, these are the vernacular names of uh, this um, uh, millets i think uh, we have listed uh, nine millets especially uh, sorghum to brown top millet first three are you no know, little uh, Uh, being you know cultivated and uh, consumed throughout india whereas uh, these six minor millets uh, proso millet kodo millet foxtail millet little millet and barnard millet i think uh, uh, these six are very very important they are gaining importance uh, as you know they are containing lot of uh, nutrients and uh, you you might have come across with these vernacular names in kannada tamil and telugu Uh, next please yeah when when we uh, i think you can see those you know uh, photographs uh, depicting these uh, millets also starting from sorghum to brown top millet as you can see the the shape and size the size is not exceeding uh, uh, 4 mm 1 to 4 mm is the size and some are round ovoid spherical and spherical to oval next please and uh, these are no um, important uh, these uh, minor millets uh, these are uh, elliptical to oval in case of uh, kodo millet barnyard millet is round little millet is also round and foxtail millet is little ovoid and brown top millet is uh, 
ellipsoid. I think those are those are the you no know, ear heads and the uh, grains are uh, shown here. Uh, next, please. And when when it comes to the production uh, stay, you know, status in the world, uh, India uh, grabs uh, India stands first in the production, uh, contributing almost twenty percent of the total uh, global production. And uh, next, please. And with respect to uh, production of these millets in India, uh, major contribution is from Rajasthan. Next, uh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, and Haryana. Definitely, uh, Tamil Nadu has also got a very good place after this. And since why why Rajasthan is more? Rajasthan is uh, uh, contributing more because more uh, this pearl millet is. Uh, cultivated the, there and um, the production is considered that's why it is standing first and whereas in karnataka why it is standing second and uh, maharashtra because you know here their finger millet is the major uh, millet grown in that uh, uh, those states that is why they are uh, you know taking the first second third position next please and uh, uh, knowing these millets you know now Previously, they used to uh, tell that uh, these are you no know, minor millets. Then uh, later on, uh, they are called as you know Sri Anna. Now, re very recently, uh, these you know Parliament has you know announced this as uh, uh, Sri Anna. Sri, Sri means uh, most sacred, most nutritious, and um, uh, you know, most uh, you know, uh, uh, healthy food for the human beings. In that way, they are they are calling it as a uh, uh, Sri Anna, and this. These uh, small uh, cereals, uh, minor millets, are very good for uh, uh, human health and good for the planet, good for the farmers. Next, please. How these are uh, good for the farmer? Because you know, uh, when you compare, you know, the very uh, now the rainfall is also decreasing and the availability of rain water is less, irrigation water is less. In that way, you know, the these millets are you know uh, need uh, less water. The compared to other cereals, you can see that graph. Uh, when you know rice, rice requires more than 1,250 liters, whereas these uh, pearl millet and other uh, finger millet, they are they require less than uh, 400 uh, liters. In that way, uh, they need less water, and they are all you know short term uh, um, uh, these crops, and they they can be grown in uh, very minimum uh, fertilizer or no pesticide at all since they have greater this pest and disease resistance in that way they require very less uh, uh, this uh, pesticides and all uh, in maintaining the crop and they are also resistance to water logging and other way it is they are also drought uh, tolerant and they can be grown in uh, a low fertile soils and uh, they can be stored safely for a long time long time in the sense we can store these millets for more than five years without any problem, without any insect infestation. In that way, you know, uh, uh, self-stable, we can say. Once we, we, we go for processing, then uh, its a deterioration starts. Otherwise, uh, uh, with the husk, it will be, the quality will be intact. And uh, another most important uh, thing is, you know, these millet uh, crops, they absorb more carbon dioxide from the environment and uh, release uh, oxygen to this environment next please and uh, how how they are you know uh, helpful or um, good for people as you know when compared to rice and wheat you can see uh, the the these nutrient composition uh, chart you can see uh, the data are compared with uh, rice and wheat and other nine uh, uh, these minor millets and they find very good you know uh, uh, quantity of uh, protein as well as crude fiber most important uh, uh, component is crude fiber we can see foxtail millet and barnyard millet and kodo millet uh, it's almost 9% crude fiber is there very good for uh, human health next please and they are also having uh, very important uh, amino acids and uh, coming to the mineral profile of these uh, minor millets you can see uh, they are very rich in calcium iron magnesium zinc 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 you can see you know it's almost 2.4 3.1 and 2.2 this uh, zinc zinc acts as a very good uh, important role in enhancing the immunity of uh, our uh, human health next please and as i have already explained yes uh, these are suitable these minor millets are very well suited for dry land and rain fed situation and require less water and nutrient climate resilient crop and these are rich in vitamins minerals 
and the most important is they are no gluten at all and uh, glycemic index is very low next please yes we have a lot many health benefits so this is uh, gluten free glycemic index is less and fiber is uh, uh, higher and these are going to help uh, celiac uh, disease uh, people and diabetes people and uh, reduce the obesity in uh, people next please and uh, yes some more you know because these are having so many amino acids and antioxidants and they are going to prevent the cancer and they are going to uh, overcome this you know help in overcoming this uh, malnutrition since uh, these are uh, uh, you know a good source of uh, uh, minerals and vitamins and other uh, nutrients next please and of course it is the continuity as yes, since they are rich in iron yes we can work on this anemia and uh, reduce the acidity because of higher fiber content uh, the, the the fiber content uh, fiber will take uh, uh, you know uh, the health of the gut and which is most important you know that helps in uh, improving the health of the people next please coming to you know looking at all these you know uh, advantages so when we uh, found this you now all the all the people started talking about uh, uh, these millets yes there is a great demand for these processed millets processed millets you can see the upper half portion is unprocessed raw and the lower portion is uh, processed one and here we have to remove that husk dealing is the most important um, uh, processing operation here apart from this you know there are so many bottlenecks we can we can understand you know the, uh, during these days and the dominance of this wheat and uh, rice uh, now people do not know about uh, much about this uh, millets and we have to create the awareness about these uh, millets and the health importance and uh, because of this you know uh, poor yields of uh, this we have to know uh, act on the uh, this breeding program we can come out with the high yielding uh, these varieties and after that you know this uh, when when the farmers take this produce to the market they are uh, not getting a good uh income or profit out of that because you know middlemen are uh, uh, taking the advantage of that whereas you know the uh, the processed ones the the rate in the market is very high uh, poor affordability is there and uh, uh, very you know the, uh, these uh, people are uh, unable to uh, utilize this properly for their uh, health in that way we started working you know university of agriculture sciences raichur started working next please and lot of you know i i would like to mention here a uh, lot of this you know, work has been carried out in tnau tnau lot of uh, these uh, uh, especially in in terms of uh, development of the uh, dealing uh, equipment and even storage shelf life enhancement of these uh, processed millets lot of work has been done uh, great thing has uh, already happened still need to uh, you know work on more uh, here here you know just i would like to mention us raichur has released uh, very important uh, these uh, millet varieties for the past 3 to 4 years they worked on these things uh, there were no better varieties for uh, uh, low rainfall areas in that way uh, our university of agriculture sciences raichur has developed hn46 uh, hb46 this uh, first one is for foxtel millet second one is for proso millet and uh, this is hbr2 is the first uh, variety released in india uh, in this particular brown top millet uh, that was from uh, us raichur and apart from that uh, one more very high yielding finger millet uh, hr13 is also released uh, last year 21 22 and uh, little millet is also it is called as hs hs stands for hagri hagri is uh, that research station and uh, of course n stands for the name name vernacular name is n uh, in kannada it is navane b is called bargu and br is you know brown top and uh, little millet is same same i think here also the, the same name is there and finger millet ragi is there no that is what it is the, the station name and uh, uh, the crop name in kannada they have kept and they have released these uh, varieties next please these are the varieties i think you can see this is a hagri navane that is a foxtel millet uh, very promising uh, variety next please and uh, this is uh, high yielding around 16 to 18 quintals uh, per hectare and rich in uh, iron and zinc uh, 
uh, and the duration of the crop is uh, less than you know, 85 to 90 days next and this is the hb agri barugu uh, this is also released uh, within this 2 3 years next please and uh, this is also having uh, around uh, 12 uh, quintals to 14 quintals uh, per hectare and uh, this particular variety is also rich in iron and uh, zinc and crude fiber 11% uh, uh, crude fiber it is having next please this is hbr2 what i was telling about the the first uh, variety from, uh, released in uh, brown top millet and uh, next please this is having a very you know high yielding you can see 18 quintals to 20 quintals per hectare and uh, rich in iron zinc and crude fiber you can find, see here uh, more than 13% crude fiber this particular variety is having next please and this is uh, agri same hs uh, uh, 17 next this is also high yielding 15 to 16 uh, quintals and uh, the uh, this variety the grains are rich in iron zinc and crude fiber next yes so this is one more hr13 next this is a ragi that whatever you know finger millet uh, this is a very high yielding 21 quintal to 22 quintals per hectare and very rich in uh, calcium iron zinc uh, compared to other varieties next please Yes, you know, th these are all the things uh, uh, they have been released and a lot of seed production activities being taking place in uh, U.S. Raichur. Almost uh, last year, 500 tons of seeds have been uh, distributed to the farmers and uh, they are uh, uh, finding good price also in the market. And uh, coming to the processing side and uh, we are uh, working on these uh, different aspects of uh, processing as you know. Uh, processing of millet processing uh, includes primary processing, secondary processing, and under primary processing, we can see cleaning, dealing, sorting, maybe, you know, sorting is color sorting. It is not the uh, preliminary sorting. Uh, uh, then after that, uh, some people go for polishing and later on grading of uh, premium quality. And coming to that uh, secondary processing, a lot of these uh, uh, milling means, you know, making it into powder, roasting, germination, fermentation. A uh, lot of uh, the, you know, things are being uh, taking place and uh, a lot of products are already there in the market. And uh, other advanced processing, you can see puffing, baking, flaking, extrusion and other value addition uh, uh, works are going on. And next, please. I think you can you you might have seen uh, these these are the traditional uh, primary processing method. You know, uh, people used to go for pounding and just sprinkling a little water on that, and they are going to pound these uh, grains to remove the outer husk. And later on, they used to go for manual chikki. Next, please. And now, now a lot of these machinery have come. The just like you know pre cleaner, deck type pre cleaner, and uh, this vibro destoner. Next. And all those, you know, these, these uh, pre-cleaners or graders, uh, you know, are depending on the size of the screen. And these sizes are also given here. You know, what should be the size of the screen, top sieve, middle sieve, and uh, bottom sieve for these uh, deck uh, cleaners. Next, please. And uh, most important unit operation or processing in millets is the dehulling. And uh, this can be done uh, by using these three important uh, principles. You can see, you know, emery emery that means abrasion type and rubber roller sharing type and impact type this uh, centrifugal type next please and i think you, you might have seen this small small uh, equipment uh, in your lab also and these are being you know uh, previously these were meant for uh, rice and other cereals and they are being used for this millets also next please and here this is the most important, I think, uh, uh, left side, whatever you are seeing is uh, Victor Millet Mill. Victor is from Tamil Nadu only. He introduced first this uh, uh, impact, you know, centrifugal uh, uh, impact machine. And after that, uh, here in uh, TNA itself, one of your senior worked on um, uh, this uh, centrifugal type and he has gone for uh, two two stage uh, um, centrifugal impact uh, dehulling machine and it has given a very good uh, uh, you know results uh, next next please not many you know these uh, uh, institutes organizations have worked on that and they have come out with rubber roller type or impact type or uh, emery type um, and you uh, know go to the next please i will tell next 
yes of course you know once once we go for this uh, dehulling and there is a necessity of uh, separation of dehulled and unhulled uh, uh, grains so that you know uh, whatever whatever till now we are unable to get the uh, dehulling machines in a single pass it is not possible to uh, dehull all the you know grains in a single pass in that way after dehulling there should be a you know mechanism or equipment for separation of uh, uh, these unhulled and dehulled uh, grains and uh, this is the most important specific gravity separator which is being used for that next please and of course you know in order to get the premium quality product after uh, the separation grading then people are going for this uh, uh, color sorter so that you know whatever the unhulled or the remaining unhulled grains can also be separated out of this product product next please then after that the uh, pro polishing or purling people you know generally generally we don't recommend this uh, purling or polishing for any of the uh, millets except in ragi ragi some people are going for purling just you know just removal of uh, uh, outer layer and uh, even if it is retained with the final product also it is good for human health in that way we don't recommend polishing but the people are doing this polishing of these millets next please and see you can you can see some of the you know millet processing equipment manufacturers uh, you know they are most of them are in uh, uh, tamil nadu and they are very reasonable and uh, i think uh, they are being marketed across uh, different states in karnataka as well as in uh, other uh, countries you can see you know even uh, avm is there uh, victor is there then one more born technology is there next please perfura is there and you know, all these are you know commercially they are manufacturing these uh, um, uh, millet processing equipments and they are marketing next please next i think uh, yes milling 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 yes as you already know next please milling you know we go for size reduction we can go for uh, semolina or suji you can say rava you can say you can um, uh, go for size reduction you can go for uh, flours also you can go for um, you know, uh, atta and other uh, kind of things and uh, they are being marketed uh, and uh, with respect to uh, next uh, one more um, uh, principle is used for marketing of these millets after germination G germinated powders and germinated these uh, you know grains are being marketed next please and here you know whatever germination or malting or any other roasting these these are used in order to reduce the anti nutritional uh, parameters there factors there in the millets definitely these millets do uh, you know contain these uh, anti nutritional parameters that is why you know the, there is a reluctance by the people in accepting the taste of the products so that is how you know we can reduce these anti nutritional factors and we can make it little you know attractive to the consumers in that way a lot of work is being done across uh, different institutions and here malting and other things you know you already know uh, just you know steeping then uh, going for uh, um, conditioning then later on drying and uh, they can go for powdering or uh, milling then after that packing and uh, uh, um, uh, selling it to the market next please then roasting uh, roasting as you already know as yes, uh, it is uh, the grains are subjected to intense high temperature around uh, 160 to 200 250 degree centigrade and you know uh, during this process a uh, lot of these uh, uh, cotyledons uh, exposed to uh, the um, high temperature and uh, this facilitates uh, loosening of the husk as well as you know improving the unique uh, uh, flavor and inducing the unique flavor and reduce uh, unwanted anti nutritional and uh, other toxic constituents present in the millets next please all these you know even puffing popping just you know uh, immediately you know spontaneous or simultaneous uh, uh, exposure uh, uh, instant exposure to a very high temperature leads to this uh, popping and puffing and lot of these uh, popped and uh, puffed uh, these um, uh, millets are being marketed next please Yes, uh, some of the information about puffing, popping. What should be the you no know, temperature range for sand roasting, pan roasting, then HDST fluidized bed popping. All these details are given here, and the people uh, still had to had to standardize this for uh, microwave puffing and you know uh, go for commercialization. Next, please. 
and some of the value added products next i think a lot of uh, these um, across the globe so many people are working on this value addition and why why value addition is required next please next why why value addition is required you know this value addition is required only because the farmer farmer is not able to get the premium price for these millets only traders are you know getting the premium price and they are being sold at very high price whereas from the farmer it is taken at at around 1800 to 2200 2000 200 uh, rupees per quintal in that way it is sold at farm level it is sold at very low price in that way i think the farmers have to come forward and they have to go for you no know, this kind of value addition they have to become and Entrepreneur, they have to become marketing person. Then only you know the farmer can uh, get a better income out of these millets. Apart from consuming himself, this the great uh, uh, healthy food. Next, please. I think there are so many uh, these recipes are available. Now we have also released uh, two books on this um, uh, millet uh, different products the recipe. CFTRI has released. IAMR Hyderabad has released. Uh, uh, these these are already available. Now it is you add this or that to make one some very attractive and uh, very uh, no tasty food. In that way, people are trying and coming out with a lot many products. Next, please. Next, next, next. Next, see even even pizza base has come, millet pizza base has come, pizza millet no no previous. Up uh, next, yeah. Uh, then we 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 started you know uh, working on these millet products and uh, regularly we are selling these uh, pizza base uh, in Karnataka and you can see here you no know, lot many these brands. Uh, Uh, for example, 24 Mantra is there, Genie is there, and Siri Mart is there. See, lot of lot of uh, you know they are mixing something with millets, or millets are being added to some other uh, cereals, and they are coming with so many different kinds of uh, products, and the market is flooded with this kind of. Uh, products you can see ragi idli mix and uh, some of the you know flours and other uh, organic products next please see you can see here manna manna is the one more very uh, important leading uh, brand uh, manna is there amma is there and uh, this um, one more is what is that uh, uh something you know inner being in inner, inner being that is also one more brand these are even exporting these products uh, to usa canada australia and uk this especially pasta product pasta is being sent to all these countries and now slowly these uh, noodles noodles are being you know uh, produced out of this millets and they are also going to hit the market uh, in the coming uh, days next please yeah you can see you know so many true millets and indiras uh, are are also very very important uh, these uh, mill fill important brands which are you know playing with the people and if you just think of you know uh, the 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 product cost you know the price of the product is more than 500 rupees a kg whereas you know the farmer is getting only 2000 or 20 rupees a kg here the product is uh, being marketed more than 500 a kg in that way i think everybody has got a good scope to utilize this opportunity and there is a huge market huge demand no uh, need to worry that you know if we uh, enter into this business whether my products are go going to be sold or not it is not the matter at all whatever you keep just millet is there means the people are ready to purchase this Uh, we have experienced the next please yes yes uh, i think uh, next please this is just i would like to you know uh, tell about the university of agriculture sciences what it has done and uh, we we uh, you know organized this uh, millet uh, conclave during 2022 uh, and uh, honorable uh, finance minister uh, and uh, even honorable uh, our uh, chief minister during that time uh, they all you know visited uh, uh they graced that occasion and launched launched this particular international year of millets at uh, us raichur next please 
and here now our our journey uh, began with uh, this kind of uh, setup uh, slowly uh, we started you know giving service to the farmers by setting up of a small 100 kg per hour unit you can see you know initially that is a pre cleaner next it is a destoner after that we have a rubber roll sheller and next is uh, the double stage uh, centrifugal uh, dehuller then we have a small uh, cent uh, that uh, specific gravity separator then Uh, polisher this setup we had and we are having and the capacity was only 100 kg per hour and you can see uh, you know we used to give now almost 750 farmers have registered and they have taken the uh, benefit out of this particular millet processing unit and for the past 7 uh, to 8 years uh, we are uh, working on this and later on the demand increased and uh, you know huge uh, uh quantity of this uh, especially uh, foxtail millet and other millets started coming and approaching the farmers started approaching then we uh, uh, you know uh, decided to go for little bigger size next please then we established this particular millet processing unit with the help of rkvy project and we established this 1000 kg per hour and daily we are produce, processing around 2 to 3 tons maximum 2 to 3 tons per day uh, this particular uh, uh, unit is processing all these especially uh, foxtail millet and uh, little millet and uh, kodo millet and brown top millet and it is being marketed in bulk also 25 kg bag and 1 kg bags also and it is marketed throughout uh, different districts in uh, india even it is the products are going to ludhiana bhuvaneswar mumbai chennai and even to bangalore uh, uh, and even 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 niftam tanjavur is giving order here and niftam kundli is giving order to us raichur and we are processing the millets and we are uh, uh, sending to them for further uh, value addition next please in that way this kind of you know the uh, units we have established three uh, locations so that we can uh, meet the far need of the farmers demand from the farmers from bidar to uh, ballari so that almost at a stretch of 800 kilometers these are located one in kalburgi one in raichur and another one is in uh, ballari so that uh, Uh, all the farmers uh, especially millet farmers are covered with this uh, facility and uh, you, here you can see one of the you know, uh, uh, startup entrepreneur uh, this uh, anand gowda anand gowda is uh, also you know, um, uh, established this organic fpo at raichur they are you know almost uh, uh, they have completed 100 tons of processing in this particular uh, unit and they are selling with uh, their own brand next next please yeah this is uh, uh, after that you know we we found around uh, uh, 10 to 12% of brokens we are getting out of this and uh, you know while separation while grading and this is uh, uh, we found you know we cannot able to find uh, the market for these brokens of these uh, millets then we established this one more uh, unit of you know almost 500 kg per hour Uh, uh you know we can go for this you know making uh, these grits as well as the flours of these millets and the uh, the startups you know we have identified the startups and we are giving training to those startups in uh, operation of these units next please and he, you can see here mr mohan kumar is uh, one of the startups uh, uh, from our uh, university and he ha he has uh, you know uh, established this particular samruddhi brand and it is being marketed uh, throughout the country and he is also trying for uh, exporting of these uh, millet flours and millet rava and also he is uh, going for this uh, sorghum grits and uh, uh, other um, uh, millet uh, products next please and uh, here one more thing what we have established is uh, we have established this uh, millet based uh, bakery unit and uh, uh, we are we have almost uh, uh, replaced this uh, refined wheat flour in this particular uh, uh, 
uh, uh, unit and uh, we are not using uh, refined wheat flour only we are using either uh, whole wheat flour and this uh, millet uh, flour and we are coming out with uh, every day we are producing around 500 to 600 loaves of this pounds of uh, breads uh, with these muffins and other uh, biscuits and other uh, products and it, they are being marketed uh, in the outlet of the uh, department next please and yes, these these even pizza pizza is also uh, being uh, produced every day uh, at uh, four four to six p.m. four to six p.m. and almost uh, around seventy to seventy five uh, pizza are going to be sold in our outlet. Next, please. And of course, uh, these are uh, uh, other extruded products uh, being you know uh, optimized in our uh, department. Next. Yes, uh, some of the these uh, immunity boosting foods also enriched with these millets for in, increasing the iron, calcium, zinc, and vitamins in these products. Next, and he is that you know one more uh, uh, startups from uh, uh, our uh, own college. I think his uh, name is uh, Mr. Dawlappa, and uh, he he started his uh, startup in in our uh, uh, unit, and he has. Uh, uh, created his own marketing network in Karnataka as well as in Andhra Pradesh also, even up to Hyderabad, Karnool and other districts. Then he started uh, you know, uh, supplying these uh, uh, millet-based uh, breads. Uh, one is made out of sugar and another uh, is made out of uh, uh, jaggery. And uh, he's uh, started with uh, almost uh, 25 lakhs uh, uh, funding from uh, this one, one of the banks, and he established his own uh, this bakery unit in Raichur itself, and he is producing more than 1,000 to 1,200 pounds of breads, and he is uh, reaching uh, nook and corner of uh, Raichur city and other districts also, and he is getting good profit out of this. Next, please. This is one more uh, uh, brand, one more person, Mr. Uday Kiran, and uh, his brand name is uh, Farm Bundi, and he is also, you know, uh, uh, worked as a startup in our uh, uh, facility and started his own uh, uh, millet-based bakery unit outside, and he is also reaching to many farmers. His uh, turnover is also crossing more than uh, two crore annually. Next, please. This is one more uh, startup supported by U.S. Raichur, and uh, here you can uh, find, you know, the, this is uh, just a, uh, you know, uh, a product competing with uh, Genie. Genie is a very famous uh, uh, product in the market, and uh, he has come out with this uh, millet health mix powder, and this is also being uh, uh, marketed uh, in different uh, uh, outlets. And uh, this is also uh, supported by U.S. Raichur. Next, please. And this is uh, one more Sampurna Ahara. Uh, this is also, you know, we have standardized the, the overall uh, total uh, nutrient composition and we have uh, transferred the technology to this Sampurna Ahara and they are also uh, going for uh, marketing of this kind of uh, product. Next. And this is one more food roast manufacturer and service from Balari. He is also you know, being given the uh, training and he is uh, uh, producing the uh, millet-based bakery products in Balari and uh, uh, getting good profit out of that. Next, please. And this is from Daunagera, this is Jasmart, and behind that uh, Jasmart, there is a uh, millet processing unit and millet bakery unit, and uh, they have also been given the technology of uh, production of these uh, millet-based products, and they are also producing and uh, covering the en entire Daunagera, Hubli, Darwad uh, market. Next, please. This is Organic Bharat. He is also alumni of uh, uh, U.S. Raichur and he has also come out with this kind of uh, outlet and he is uh, producing and marketing uh, in different outlets. He has made a franchise of this Organic Bharat and come out with uh, different uh, products. Next, please. Next. And other other products which are you know, being valued at products developed at our uh, university. Next. Next, next, next. Yeah, this is this is one more one more uh, <coughs> facility we have uh, uh, established at the University of Agriculture, Raichur. Uh, this is a uh, no um, uh, 
uh, what do you call you know uh, rice analog kind of thing rab dal analog production kind of thing uh, here uh, it is just like you know whatever you are seeing uh, it is a restructured uh, uh, grains can be produced out of this one through this extrusion technology and here we are using these uh, uh, you know millet flour uh, as a raw material and we are bringing that uh, millet flour into rice kernels and so that you know uh, if we can uh, I uh, present this millets in the form of rice kernels definitely it is uh, going to have a good market in the future in that uh, way we have already optimized that and a lot of uh, you know the enquiries are coming uh, on that also and uh, we have fortified uh, this especially uh, what i was uh, mentioning about you know this restructured rice uh, especially rice raichur and uh, our uh, northern district these uh, gangavati they are called as uh, uh, rice um, bowl of uh, karnataka and uh, everywhere you can see rice fields especially they are growing this sona masuri um, uh, crop and uh, there are more than 500 rice mills uh, established across uh, different uh, two three districts and a lot of these uh, brokens are uh, generated out of these rice mills nearly you know uh, 10 to 12 percent of brokens are produced and these broken rice are sold at less than 20 rupees to you know, different people for this uh, poultry feed or for uh, malt brewers like that you know then we we worked on that and we converted that uh, broken uh, rice into uh, flour and that flour uh, is fortified with uh, calcium iron zinc folic acid and other vitamins and uh, mixed with this and uh, fed to this particular machine and we could get very good uh, rice like you know structures grains we could uh, uh, get out of these things and uh, that is also being uh, uh, you know uh, this this particular facility is being uh, taken by two of the rice millers of uh, raichur and we have also worked on fortification of dal you know even one more district is there kalburgi and bidar yadgir and they are called as pulse bowl of karnataka and there we can see all these red gram bengal gram and urd dal whatever you know black gram they are they are being you know cultivated and produced there and there also the same problem of uh, these brokens uh, and these you know brokens are not preferred by the people in that way broken dal also powdered and restructured into this shape and you can mix that this kind of uh, restructured dal into uh, regular dal and we can get a better profit next please and uh, yes i think i think i i, I completed that uh, millets now and uh, just i would like to uh, add some more information for uh, uh, you students you know you can whenever uh, you come to raichur you can uh, uh, get these information also and you can think about your entrepreneurship also see here uh, this is a fruit ripening chamber we have established in us raichur uh, worth of uh, around uh, 25 to 30 lakhs and uh, the capacity of this fruit ripening chamber is around uh, uh, 20 tons 20 tons each five tons each uh, those uh, rooms are there cold storage kind of rooms and uh, every day you can uh, keep five tons of uh, banana mango whatever it is already you know the these these units are being used in uh, 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 this uh, uh, unit and every day five tons of this banana regular in case of uh, mango if season is there then it is used for the mango but regularly we are using for ripening of this uh, um, uh, banana and every day uh, one of the startups is bringing uh, this uh, five tons of banana and he is keeping for ripening and he is taking back ripened banana to the market five tons every every day he can he is uh, going for five tons and uh, the university is also getting good good uh, income from uh, this unit uh, next please and of course yes we have established this uh, fruits and vegetable processing unit next next and uh, now now uh, very recently uh, we have established this uh, new uh, fruits and vegetable processing plant and aseptic uh, packaging unit what you, you are seeing at the left side bottom uh, see that is the aseptic uh, 
packaging unit you can see that a cold storage kind of thing it is called as the clean room and after ultra high temperature processing that liquid or the paste enters into that clean room and the automatic packaging of the product takes place maybe pet bottle maybe uh, pouches it, it takes place and you can take out that uh, those products and we can expect the shelf life more than 12 months in that way it is being established here and uh, uh, we have already uh, received uh, two entrepreneurs uh, willing to work with uh, this particular unit. Next, please. Yes, next, next. Uh, these are simple, you know, all, all. Uh, uh, yes, next, next. Yeah, this I uh, just I wanted to why I used uh, this slide. This this information. I think this is our uh, uh, food quality testing lab. We can also say. Uh, pesticide residue and food quality testing lab. Previously, we started with food testing lab and later on added this pesticide residue also. Then we changed the name as pesticide residue and food quality analysis laboratory. And now this lab is uh, uh, totally you know doing very well it is NABL accredited and based on this experience we started one more lab food microbiology lab uh, very high level uh, high tech food microbiology lab also we have established that is that uh, for that also we got accredited this NABL and after completion of these two laboratories now we have gone for formulation testing laboratory uh, whatever no these uh, pesticide formulations are there we can test and we can certify that also formulation testing laboratory also we have established and we have got approval of this nabl and in that way all the three labs i think uh, they are not there in any of the universities maybe pesticide residue and uh, uh, this food quality analysis uh, enable accredited laboratories are there in uh, many universities, but uh, these uh, food micro, um, microbiology lab and uh, uh, this pesticide formulation testing lab uh, very rare and uh, we are getting almost uh, uh, three to four crore worth of income from uh, these uh, laboratories. We are uh, getting a lot of these uh, uh, samples from um, these uh, food industry as well as uh, the people who are involved in uh, export and also these government samples. You know, the government is giving a lot of uh, food to Anganwadi children and other people and midday meals. All these samples are coming to this laboratory and this is the only laboratory presenting in the northern part of Karnataka and uh, having that advantage uh, we are giving good uh, uh, service to the people next please next yes these are uh, high tech instruments we have next 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 yeah we have established one more this is a very very important uh, uh, laboratory that is the center for uh, nanotechnology uh, nanotechnology uh, is also you know very uh, equipped with uh, very high end equipments maybe next next please maybe sam tem x-ray diffraction particle size uh, afm whatever whatever the you know the required uh, instrumentation is there i think it has been equipped and we are receiving uh, so many you know the samples from different parts of the country uh, even from uh, ludhiana maybe kolkata uh, we are receiving these samples, nano uh, 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 these samples, and uh, we are evaluating and we are giving certification for those things. And uh, coming to this uh, common incubation center, here also I think uh, you are having in the same way, we have also established one common incubation center under this uh, uh, PMFME scheme, and uh, this is the new building constructed for accommodating these uh, equipments. Here, uh, based on the ODOP, uh, Raichur, Raichur is uh, the ODOP is Chile, whereas the groundnut is the ODOP for adjacent uh, district, Yadgir district. And we have established both the uh, you know, common uh, incubation facility in the same place. Next, please. Here, this is you know, the, the setup of um, uh, Chile processing line in the inside the uh, this particular incubation center. Next. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the uh, this has been already given to one of the O&M operator. He is using this for, uh, you know, production of this um, 
guntur chili and uh, even uh, badgi chili uh, and he is uh, marketing that uh, product next please we have we have a full set of you know uh, removal of stock then uh, removal of or uh, this um, chili flakes then roasting equipment after that grinding equipment then we have a complete set of uh, uh, form fill and sealing machine automatic uh, uh, packaging machine next in that way you know the people are working uh, next please Yes, you know the 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 name the branded this seasons. His brand name is Seasons, and he is marketing in this way. Next, please. This is one more one more groundnut is another uh, ODOP of uh, um, Yadgir district, and we have established uh, this uh, groundnut uh, oil extraction line. Apart from cold extrusion, this expeller is also having. We are having the you no know, continuous flexible film uh, packing machine for uh, this oil. Next. Which one? That one, sir. Ha. Huh. That is. Uh, I will tell you the story, sir, later, because it is not by single uh, supplier. We have identified the best uh, individual. Then we approached one person who can assist us. Then he entered into the no, uh, tender. Then we assisted him, and he assisted us. In that way, we could achieve very good uh, equipment, sir. Uh, yes, uh, this I was uh, talking about this. Uh, yes, you know, this is also uh, we are regularly. Next, please. Uh, yeah, previous. Uh, we are producing this, you know, cold pressed oil regularly. Two, two. Uh, these uh, startups are working on cold press. One is only uh, focusing this uh, groundnut, and another uh, startup is working on both groundnut, safflower, and coconut. Next, please. And uh, yes, this is the setup for uh, now groundnut after uh, uh, that oil exp uh, expeller. We are also having a facility for uh, groundnut chicky and groundnut butter, peanut butter and chicky uh, production. Next, please. And they are uh, they are going for plain peanut butter or chocolate mix uh, peanut butter, and they are being marketed next. Yes, these are some of the products out of uh, that. You know, he is having a Sanjeevni brand. Another person is having a Village Oil brand, and these are being marketed uh, across dis uh, different districts and in all almost all different malls. They are finding their places. Next, and apart from that, you know, we have uh, started you know working on this extrusion. Uh, sorry, this bricketing of this groundnut husk. After decortication, we used to get a lot of uh, husk out of that, and now we could establish without adding any uh, this uh, binding agent. We could get a very good uh, uh, quality briquettes, which are very much helpful or uh, useful for these uh, our boilers, rice mill boilers, and other uh, industries. Next, please. Yes, I was talking about this millet conclave. We organized that at US Raichur. And uh, after organizing this one, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman declared almost 25 crore funds to US Raichur for establishing uh, this uh, processing and value addition center. At and we have received 25 crores of and the buildings and other things are going on there. Next, please. Next, I think. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. I think you can see a lot of this uh, regularly. We are conducting this. Uh, next, next, you you just go on slowly. You go on. Uh, yeah, we are regularly conducting the training programs. Uh, maybe bakery, maybe dal mill, maybe rice mill, maybe uh, this uh, uh, groundnut, chicky production, and other. Uh, Training programs regularly, and uh, even a lot of these uh, uh, shelf help groups, the NGOs, and they are taking the advantage of these things. And uh, we are also getting good, good, good profit out of uh, these units. Almost uh, we are um, earning around uh, six to seven lakhs of uh, uh, amount uh, we are getting every month. And our uh, our department is uh, self-sustained. I'm uh, uh, proud to say uh, that. And uh, you are most welcome for uh, the ISAE conference. Uh, it is uh, to be held from 6 to 8 November 2023. I think uh, all your uh, 
people your professors and other people are coming you can also come as a student definitely we can wave off the some of the things and we can provide you better uh, accommodation and food facility you can get exposed to these uh, facilities also and most important is uh, so many uh, these uh, stalwarts are coming and attending that you can hear to them and you can get uh, acquire a lot of good uh, latest information uh, about agriculture engineering uh, different aspects uh, i think uh, i i take this approach to welcome you all for that particular uh, annual convention of indian society of agriculture engineers and also international symposium okay and coming finally to the conclusion of my topic i think uh, um, yes of course there are uh, difficulties in millet grain processing still it is not at uh, completed you are all having good scope in you know um, uh, finding out a very uh, reliable and uh, very good uh, economically viable uh, uh, processing unit for these millets and definitely the consumer demand is growing because of the healthy aspects of uh, millets and uh, everybody every uh, the uh, the people consumer is looking for a new product if it is uh, that you know made of um, uh, refined wheat flour and he wants that in the form of uh, millets uh, for example noodles also if somebody is coming out with very tasty noodles from millets and it finds a very good it catches the market and there is a lot of you know uh, uh, scope and potential uh, everybody is working on that let us hope good for uh, our planet and uh, everybody's health thank you very much for uh, giving this opportunity and uh, dr balakrishna and all all my tna authorities and all uh, faculty of uh, this college and uh, you all thank you very much yes yes very good question and a lot of uh, uh, the work has been done in tna itself but what we are you know uh, commercially what we are recommending is only vacuum vacuum packing 1 kg packing 2 kg packing 5 kg packing we have got one more i think uh, here also we may be having uh, it is uh, it is it is it is uh, what kind of uh, uh, packaging no not hermetic it is a vacuum packaging a mold 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 you know uh, you can uh, it 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 uh, it uh, removes the air it makes a vacuum but um, um, we have to keep that in the mold we have made even uh, 250 gram 50 gram uh, 500 gram 1 kg then uh, 2 kg and 5 kg we are not going beyond that and the molds are made and the packaging material is placed in that with the millets and there is a uh, vertical packaging generally you know uh, the sealing is done like this and we are recommending only that and uh, of course you know a uh, lot of works have been done and we have also worked on a small gadget which can flush these uh, carbon dioxide in the package and seal we can just you know uh, simulation of uh, modified uh, atmospheric packaging and definitely that is also having very good if you go go for pet if you go for pet then definitely that technology is also very helpful in maintaining this during due to during decaling some more layers are removed any yes. work has been done on that aspect yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, that's why nutritional sir, quality and uh, yeah, yeah and, like uh, that. that is that is done and uh, we are not going beyond second pass first pass almost and we have uh, one more thing uh, uh, just what we did and we are doing it we are not going for polishing at all and we are achieving that by rubber roll sheller sir this rubber roll sheller we have optimized the hardness as well as the uh, speed and uh, even 1 ton per hour capacity is also run on the uh, rubber roll sheller not uh, the this uh, centrifugal and some some sometimes we go for centrifugal also 
and brokens are more found in the centrifugal in order to avoid that we are going for this and we have got very good uh, this uh, gravity separator and we have optimized the inclination speed of that also very effective in separation of that unhulled dehulled and uh, after that it will be fed to the color sorter then finally you know very premium quality these grains are uh, collected and packed sir and what are the schemes you have established all these facilities sir uh yes yes then uh, actually uh, we don't know uh, whether uh, uh, we planned or we had a vision like that we never had any plan it it came like that only and our vice chancellor and director of research asked us to submit the uh, projects and uh, somehow they went on clicking for example you know we established a fruit ripening chamber aseptic uh, uh, processing and this uh, fortified rice all under rkvy project and this um, uh, pmfme establishment of this um, uh, food quality analysis uh, laboratory uh, we got from uh, ministry of food processing it's almost uh, 8 crore from uh, uh, food process ministry of food processing and almost uh, 12 13 crores from rkvy come on only one thing is it is not that you know establishing is a great thing no we have to bring it to the usable uh, situation then only you know whatever we are doing this you know people should come forward the startups should come forward they should you know find their market they should work for their market <coughs> We can only assist in production, but we cannot assist them in the marketing. We can just give some of the linkages, marketing linkages, unless the startups go to the market, go outside, discuss with the people, then only it is possible. That is what uh, some of the startups, they are doing extremely very well. Even, even that um, uh, flour mill also, every day four tons, they are going for milling. Something you know, some some motivation is also there, and uh, uh, support is also there, and uh, the students are also doing. Almost uh, seven seven alumni of uh, our college and university are taking advantage of this. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So thank you, Dr. Nidoni, for your exhaustive presentation on. Uh, not only in millets, but also you covered everything. So the facilities we had in uh, US Raichur. So Dr. Uday is a man of uh, dedication, I can say. So he is a role model for even for me. Even though he is my classmate, he is a role model for me. So you can admire many things from Dr. Nidoni. And uh, he, is a, he played a very important role in establishing what you have seen, the so many infrastructure. So starting from the cereals, pulses, oils, almost he covered all the crops. Starting from cereals, pulses, oils, seeds, spices, fruits, vegetables, everything he covered. And also he is sustaining a department by generating his own income. So he told he is generating around 6 lakhs rupees. Uh, and he created a lot of uh, high-end equipments. For example, you can say Central for Nanotechnology. So I visited uh, once the last uh, three, four months back. So, uh, at, le at minimum, it requires uh, two days uh, to see all the infrastructure that is created by Dr. Nirodani in the span of last uh, three to four years. So, four years before, I also went to Raichur for, uh, as an excellent examiner. So, in the span of four years' uh, time, uh, he created many things. At least, uh, you should visit once to uh, Department of Processing in Food Engineering, U.S. Raichur, um, to see his... Uh, um, that is um, a role in uh, establishing so many things. And also he played a very important role in uh, getting the funds from NABAD exclusively for millers uh, about uh, 25 crores. There is a very, very great achievement, I can say. So really thank you, Dr. Nirvani, for your admiring speech. So everything will be uh, very much uh, admired by your uh, speech. So thank you.